I am a big fan of Google Map. It is sophisticated, yet so simple to use. It is an excellent tool to maintain all your favorite locations. A friend tell me about a great restaurant. I'll look it up on Google Map, browse the photos associated with it, look at the menu, read the reviews, and if it appeals to me, I save it on my Google Map, along with some annotations for perhaps a visit in the future. It may be next week, it may be next year, but it's there for future reference. Let's say I'm watching the Travel Channel about a special touristic destination to visit. The program covers multiple recommendations for points of interest there. I bring out my smartphone or my tablet and take a moment to save each location of interest on Google Map. A customer not familiar with our location comes in from out of town. Google Map offers the capability of creating your own map with your selected points of interest so that you can share with anyone a link that will lead the intended party to your map. I use Google Map on my PC, my tablet, and my smartphone. But as I'm going to show you here on this video, this tool has more features available if used on your PC. So let's jump on my PC and let me show you what it is all about. Okay, first off, we're gonna to go to Google and Google, Google Maps. This will take us to the site maps.google.com. Once at the site, you must log in into your Google account, as I'm showing you here. So again, make sure that you log in into your Google account so that when you save something, it will be saved under your account. As shown here, you can see I'm logged in into my Google account. Okay, now that I am logged in into my Google account, you can already see some of my saved landmarks. I'm going to take you to Montreal, my native city. And as shown over here, I have a few points of interest that I had previously saved. If you have a chance to go to Mr. Steers, the best burger in town, in the world, as far as I'm concerned. Very good hamburgers. And I'm all about the restaurants. As you can see, I have many restaurants saved, my favorite restaurants. Along with other sites of interest, like the Botanical Garden, for instance, which is very pretty this time of year. What I like about it also is that we have the opportunity to review all kinds of reviews and photos and any information relating to each of the locations saved as shown here. I'm going to look for a site called a Wad Smoke Meat. I had not saved this one before, so as you can see again, I got many reviews and photos available for that particular result. I can save it. I'm going to save it into want to go list and I can save it into multiple lists. I'm also going to list it under restaurants. So I have it saved for both want to go and restaurants. Okay, let's go to New York just so we can practice some of these skills we've already experienced with me here. Uh, for the fun of it, uh, I tell you what, let's go to, if you haven't been there, you really ought to visit or next time you go to New York, to, to the little island. A man-made island that's relatively new in New York, very pretty to visit. I'm going to save it, want to go, so I can mark it in as a want-to-go destination the next time I'm in New York. And as you can see here, we basically went to your places, want-to-go list, and sure enough, little line is coming up on top. You can also add notes to any of the demarcation you put up. For instance, if a friend tells you about a restaurant, or a recommendation came in through a friend, you can, just to refresh your memory, put a note to that effect. I find that very useful to jive my memory as passes, as time passes. Sort of a notebook, if you will.
the platform gives you the capability of creating different lists that may serve a different purpose. Uh, as you can see here, I have want to go, favorites, travel plans, star places, restaurants, uh, points of interest, I should say locations of interest. One of the things I really enjoy is the fact that I can go into my iPad, for example, here I'm looking at an article that was in the Miami Herald about this particular restaurant. And it sounds like an interesting restaurant. I'm reading about it in the newspaper, so I'm gonna go into my iPad, Google Map. You can download the map on your phone, your iPad, or your computer for that matter. I'm gonna look up this particular restaurant that was featured in the Miami Herald, the Blue Heaven restaurant in Key West. And while I'm at it, I can basically look at some of the photos available just to give me a sense of what the restaurant is like. Mm, that sounds appealing enough. Particularly if you have a sweet tooth, very rustic, sounds like a fun place. So I am going to save it. So I am my iPad, I essentially do the same thing as I would on my computer. And look for the save button once I have found the location. And in this particular case, I'm going to put it for both the restaurants and want to go. All right, so let's explore some other capabilities offered by Google Maps. I'm gonna to go to your places. When you get to your places, you'll first see all the lists we talked about before, but there's another label called maps. This particular maps will allow you to create your own map that can be shared with other people. So I'm gonna create a map. We're gonna call it, shall we say, it's on title right now, so we can call it whatever you wanna call it, our favorite restaurants. So essentially I'm putting together a map with all my favorite restaurants that I can share with people. So let's say I look for Frenchy Wine Bistro in Call Gables. Nice little bistro where you can have a escargot. I like to Basically, choose my color so it will stand out. You also have a choice of different icons available, along with the capability, once again, to put some notes on it. In this case, I love their onion soup over there, so I just put great onion soup and steak frites. These are my recommendation for that particular restaurant. Let's look for Ichimi in Call Gables. Ichimi has a great uh, selection of uh, Japanese delicacies, including ramen, one of the best ramen in town. I'm going to select the icon that might correspond more in tune with what I'm looking for. I'm going to call it, I'm looking for the fast food. This is more like a lunch place. So I'm using the fast food icon and I'm going to put it in a different color to differentiate the color into whether or not it is for lunch, dinner, or cocktails. And it'll make more sense as I progress here with my list. Let's do another one. It's very easy, folks. Tere de Sapora, the best pizza in town. They have a Wednesday night special for all pizzas at $9.99. Very good value. An excellent pizza that those is a very, very chewy, very, the way I like it anyway. I'm selecting the color and I'm selecting the dining option. So the icon can be selected based on your preference. Base pizza in town, Wednesday night special, don't miss it. So anybody who I share this map with will be able to view my annotations as such. It's really easy, I just have to look up the point of interest, click on it, Add to map, put the paint, uh, click on the paint so you can select the color you want to appear as, and select the icon. You can even search the icon as I'm showing you here. Groceries. So Trader Joe is my favorite grocery store in Call Gables. 
So I have it marked on this map. Let's look for another one, just so you can understand how all of this works out. Biltmore Bar. Excellent place to take clients for a drink after showings in Call Gables. Once again, I select my color of choice so it will stand out as it should once the map is created. Because it's a cocktail hour kind of place, I'm selecting a different color. We're going to select a little martini glass as the icon. Bashur, if you haven't been to Bashur, it's a wonderful bakery recognized by many as one of the best bakery in town. Fabulous pastries. Different color for differentiating it. And I'm going to call it a lunch place. It's a nice place to have lunch. Pascal, one of my favorite restaurants for dinner. Pascal's on Ponce de Leon. Add to map. Select the color. We selected black for dining. And the little fork and spoon as the icon to differentiate it as a place to have for dinner. Monday night special with all wines at 50% off. And I put in my favorite dish in there so you can refer to it as a recommendation. Another excellent bakery in Call Gables, Madruga Bakery of US 1. Add to map. Great place for lunch. And a little personalized annotation. So over here is what I'm doing is I'm going a different layer for the different type of points of interest that I've just put together. I have one for lunch, one for dinner, and one for cocktails. So it is as easy now. Well, let's do other points of interest. Now that I have my layers organized, it's just a question of dragging each of my points of interest within the appropriate layer. And it makes it that much easier because I've already got them color coded, as you can see. All my lunches are in purple with the fast food icon I've selected. The, diner, the dinners, places for dinners, are in black with the little fork and spoon. And again, all you have to do is dragging from above into each of the corresponding layers right here. It's one added step to make your map a little more intuitive as the way I see it. It's not a bad idea to organize it by layers depending on your purpose. But just know that the capability is there and in my view should be used. Makes things organized. Keeps things organized. As I like it. So as you can see from the preview, this is what it looks like. And you can actually click on each of these restaurants to get more information. And it's a really... So that we can recap where we've been and where we're going with this. I'm going to go to Google, look at my Google map. And I'm going to log back into the account where the map was created. 
I have numerous accounts on Google, so I'm going to select the proper account where the map was created. I'm going to go on the hamburger menu over here on the left, the little three bars menu. I'm going to go to your places. Once, I, once here, I'm going to go into maps. I'm going to look to the map that was just created, our favorite in Call Gables. Sure enough, this is what we've just created together. As you can see here, while here, open in my maps. This will allow you from here to preview or share the actual map. So this is from where you will share the actual map. Share. As you click on this button, you can see you have different options to configure your sharing uh, parameters. I like it with anyone with this link can view it and I can copy this link and incorporate this link into whether it's a posting on Facebook or an email you want to send somebody. So anybody who has that link will be able to preview your map. As you can see here, I'm going to paste it into my browser to so show you here it is. This is the map we've just created together and this is the link to it. I hope you all enjoyed this presentation. I do encourage you to play with it. And as always, if you should have any questions at any time, reach out. I'll be more than happy to assist. Thank you.